the customs department contacted us at the IW um, to talk about confiscated materials, which are um, refrigerants, um, CFCs mainly, and they ask how they can dispose of such substances or destroy them in a proper manner. And since the DIW is the lead agency under the Montreal Protocol, we have contacted the um, World Bank to identify funding sources and options and um, channels in which such substances can be destroyed properly. We learned from the World Bank's representative at the time, Kun Viras Frithruntiem, that Thailand had a confiscated stockpile that was sitting from over 10 years ago somewhere in many warehouses that needed a solution. The Four Low Carbon Project has been started um, in our company since uh, 10 years ago, 2012. Um, we got the inquiry from the Department of Industrial Works to provide the service for um, custom department. However, in that time, uh, we faced the difficulty in terms of the, the, the financial support. Tradewater has offered a partnership with us, with Customs, with WMS and IEAT to work together in this public-private relationship to make sure that we can finance the destruction and ensure that these refrigerants meet uh, destruction at the end of life. Tradewater does this work um, by following protocols. These protocols make sure that all of the refrigerant that people are collected is handled in a safe manner, complies with all the applicable rules and regulations, and is destroyed to greater than 99.99%. And our role in this project, as in many projects that we do, is to ensure that those steps all happen and that the end-of-life destruction of this material um, is done in the safest and most effective manner. Uh, Tradewater will support um, the, the, the financial to the project to destroy um, the, the full carbon that I think would be the, the largest stop high in, in our countries. Cylinders will move from the custom storage facilities to this warehouse. cylinder will be identified, weighed, and recorded. The gas from all 10,000 cylinders will move into a large isotank. The aggregated volume will be sampled to determine the concentration of gas. It will then move to the WMS facility where destru destruction will commence. Uh, all the waste before it can come to our company, it will be uh, analyzed, the concentration, and we check whether we can receive it. Uh, and the trucks will come to this wet beach and it will be wet. We feed it into our incinerator to burn. You can see our incinerator at the back. We can burn it together with other general waste that we burn. And then after we burn, we have to control the temperature to make sure that all the waste that burn together with the CFC is already burned. And before we doing this thing, we have to do the environmental impact assessment to make sure that every Every activity is complied with laws and regulations and environmental friendly. We've also been meeting with the different officials and celebrating the beginning of this project as well in customs as in the warehouse and witnessing what it all will entail. Thailand stockpile that we will be destroying is a very large one, so it will take a long time to destroy because of the capacity of destruction, which means it will take a little over a year, like close to a year and a half, to destroy it all. The end of this project will happen when we're able to destroy all of the refrigerant that we know to exist in Thailand. In Thailand, we also uh, received this, this mission to cover, collect, and try to um, destroy the um, greenhouse gas properly, not only the, the refrigerant but also others, um, other gas as well. Um, this, this project is, is quite you know, useful in order to, to complete our, our mission and I think it's helpful. All of the parties were very interested in making this happen and that was key because we could all collaborate in finding that right path even though we didn't necessarily always know what the next 
steps should be and we took some steps that weren't in the right direction, we could all collaborate to make it happen. And that was the most important part. It's a big victory for the environment and an example of what can be accomplished through collaboration, persistence, and the commitment of many dedicated people.